the announcement today. <sighs> it's going to be unfortunate for some of y'all to hear. I've been thinking about this for a little bit. And, um... I will be mainly doing YouTube live streams. Uh, let me, let me, let me clarify here. Let me clarify. I'm not quitting. All right. Let me, let me talk about this real quick before y'all get angry at me. All right. Before you get angry, just, just hold on. I will still be on Twitch. So YouTube is something I've been wanting to pursue. I've mentioned this on stream many times. I've been wanting to pursue YouTube and focus on YouTube a lot more. Um, but ever since I realized that I won't get banned on Twitch for streaming on YouTube, because I thought there was the exclusivity thing where I could only stream on Twitch and not on YouTube. Um, but now that I've read the TOS more, I can stream on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Um, and YouTube is just something I've, I've been wanting to kind of grow on more. YouTube just has more traction. I can get more traction on YouTube because of the discoverability over on YouTube with live streams. And with overall videos, I can grow my audience more over there and my channel and brand as a whole. I can grow it more over on YouTube than on Twitch. Um, Twitch is also a very unfair platform. I've spoken about this. I've spoken about the issues with Twitch and how unfair they are with their band system and how they carry out most of their stuff. Some people will get banned seven times in a row for adult content for doing the same exact thing. They get a three day ban. Someone speaks to someone they're not, that they're not supposed to. They get a perma ban. And so it's, um, it's annoying to have to deal with that and seeing that on this platform, which I know it's probably going to change. Um, it's just something I've been upset about with Twitch for a while. Um, I understand my voice is not going to be heard by Twitch. It's not going to matter with me saying that. Um, I, I also understand a lot of y'all are going to leave my channel because of this switch. I know a lot of y'all are Twitch frogs. I know y'all enjoy Twitch. I also, let me be clear here. I do like streaming on Twitch more than on YouTube. I do enjoy it more. However, I think it's better for my channel and my brand over on YouTube than on Twitch. Um, let me get, uh, also, let me, let me, again, I'm not quitting Twitch. I know it sounds like I'm quitting Twitch. I'm not. I'll still be streaming on Twitch. Tuesdays and Fridays, I'll be over on Twitch. Twitch will be more kind of chill vibe streams. Uh, mainly me probably doing some commentary content and some Roblox stuff. And again, these can always change. Uh, this is not set in stone. This is what I'm thinking of right now. Uh, I will be sticking to this as of right now, but I, I can be changing it. Maybe like, I feel like, hey, I don't want to really stream on YouTube. I will be over on Twitch today because I just feel like being on Twitch. It's not a guarantee. It's not set in stone. It can change. This whole thing can change. For sure in the future, I will be coming back to Twitch like I've been doing, like doing full out Twitch. I just think it's gonna be better for me to grow as a brand and as like a channel by having an audience over on YouTube with more discoverability. I, like I said, I will be coming back to Twitch further down in the future once I'm content with how my channel is on YouTube. And I think I've grown enough on YouTube to where I can switch over and take some time away from YouTube and focus more on Twitch. That is when I will be uh that is when i will be coming fully back to twitch um so it's not like i'm for sure just gonna be sticking to this i will for sure be coming back to twitch and primarily streaming over on here um but that i don't know how long that's gonna be uh it is what it is um and i, I know over on youtube i'm gonna have my viewership is gonna be cut down by more than half i understand that that's just the thing you have to deal with with being on youtube uh and switching platforms altogether one another big reason as to why i'm making this move is because the twitch category right now for, for roblox is absolutely broken bro the amount that the right literally the top streamers right now are all most of them are literally view botting or doing the the embed system where they get 100 viewers which is which is illegal by the way on twitch you're allowed to do this on twitch you can embed your stream that allows you to get 100 plus viewers at all times but they have a dead chat like today i literally saw two people doing this um and the, all the streams are like robux giveaways this guy right here he's doing the same exact thing you, you, look, you look at his viewer his viewer uh viewer count 133 this is not 133 people i know i'm calling out people but it's literally the the chat was not going at 133 person pace doing giveaways 
which is how they get an active chat by doing that and there's been five other people i've seen doing that and so they can yeah no it's like the partner program and it's just it's literally that that's literally the only reason like why they do it and it's an annoying reason that this is what the the roblox categories come into like twitch doesn't do anything about it twitch is allowing this to happen and this is just all the roblox category is now is botting um is botting themselves to get partner he's gonna get growth well i still it's, it's the same passion talia it's still the same passion of wanting to create content and doing live streams i like doing live content it's not really finding a new passion it's just doing a new platform